How do we know when it is not love that is knocking at the door? Well, first the question is, do you know your own self-love? Then the second question is, do you know attachment trauma information at all? <laughs> Third question is, how do you know when it is love? Okay, so welcome aboard anybody who is new. Your woo-woo spiritual lady here has no fear of inadequacy, and that is because I got lucky. <laughs> Have a child-centric environment, so there's no shame button. And that's why when I meet people, men, women, or theys, I don't know any theys, but anybody who has a shame button, I'm like, didn't you know it's okay to be yourself? Oh, you didn't get taught that. Oh, wait. So anyways, how do you know? Knock, knock, it's not love. Well, it's not love. For example, when I was a teenager, I flirted with this guy. We really flirted a lot. We liked each other, you know, like teenagers do. And I'll never forget. So here, let's let's read Ron Siegel for a minute because this quote is really important for today. Also, enlightenment, uh, the human way is with love. We choose love. That means you do emotions and thoughts <laughs> all together. And you're not your worst enemy or your best friend. You're the Jacob personality. And that's because neutrality and duality is the advanced place of the inner growth mindset program. And you get here because you say, oh, I have a heart. <laughs> my emotions aren't irrefutable facts. So if you break my heart, it's okay. You didn't really break it. I just got sad. That's about connection. Angry. I got mad. That's about correction. Oh, fear. I got... I want certainty. You're not giving it to me. Hmm, disgust. I, I, a berry or something that's really not healthy. There's also yucky, disgusting other things. Yes, I'm talking about coitus stuff. Ugh. And then we have surprise, which if it's a good surprise, it's good. If it's a surprise where you're scared, I think you're going to be surprised and scared and and then what else? Oh, happiness. Happy now. Happy is really fun. So when I get sad and I'm releasing sadness and I get happy because my body wants to get giggly like a zero, one year old, two year old and three year old. In fact, I believe that that's what comes up when I have moments of release. Oh, I'm attachment trauma informed and I learned a lot about somatics in some of my courses. Some are certificate courses of educational and some are ours, but you can ask me. I'm happy to share. Okay. If we cannot express or are not expressing our true feelings, it is not going to be a genuine relationship. Ron Siegel, Psych D. So what you'll know uh, about love is this. Nobody gets into a relationship if you have healthy self-worth. I mean, hold on a minute. Okay, so healthy self-worth means that you know that angels and demons is a word we use and we don't apply it to people. They're people. Every human being, like Pacha, shares with Cusco, has a heart. Nobody is heartless. No, no. And we know Jesus. So we don't wait till later to know about forgiveness. We do it now. If you can, you don't have to. Again, I'm the woo woo spiritual lady. I'm a 5D mystic in the Enlightenment Soul Age group. And I share enlightenment, choosing it with love, right here. And the human way is you can get to your sort of embodiment self if you want. You don't have to. And you can move towards integration of the brain. It's called emotional mental intelligence. Again, you don't have to. You don't have to learn to regulate your nervous system and your rest and rejuvenate. You don't have to do anything. In fact, most people are motivated to say, you know, I'm going to avoid an attachment. And the therapist said I was doing a good job. And I don't want to journal or do meditation because I don't like to. And really what it is is people are fucked up and they're picking on avoidance. And I want to say we're okay the way we are. Yes, you're beautiful the way you are, but the inner body of you is not what will actually change on the outside. We get older. What I'm trying to get to is you learning how to navigate your nervous system and how to process emotions with your full brain is going to be beneficial to your inner well-being. And then you're going to get less moody with the external. Oh, and you're also going to not have this excruciating pain thing. So, I mean, really, do you want to say it's because people are fucked up? Nobody's fucked up. They either have emotions which hopefully and if they don't then numbness that's not really something that yeah it's not funny actually then we know we want pat ogden who shares with us how those who have dysregulation uh they unfortunately have a hard time regulating where are you pat i know i have the picture here somewhere because i read it to you all from this phone here we go Traumatized people often have trouble regulating by themselves. That's because we are mammals. We learn to regulate thanks to our care, our primary caregiver. I have a twin, so I can thank her too because we would hug each other. And so automatically we're just like, ah. And in fact, if you meet us, we both have the same kind of demeanor, mannerism. It's because we hugged each other a lot. 
In fact, my uncle told me how he would love to watch us in the crib as we were just hugging each other and sleeping. <laughs> it's like, huh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. If I spent 24 hours hugging another mammal, I know all about rest and rejuvenate. We also fought like cats and dogs, so I, all, I know all about you cannot actually disown a person. <laughs> I thought it was true because I got disowned at the age of eight. You can imagine that's probably way worse than any, oh man, not texting you back after, you know, fucking you and then being what? Disgusted by you, having contempt for you, and then shame. And really what it is, is it's a reflection of the person and what's going on in there. And I feel sad for that man. And I hope that he gets good therapy. And so do all the other men and women who fuck people and then feel that way because it's really sad. I know people like to blame Lucifer about it, but I, I'm not going to blame. The blame game is part of the shame cycle, so that tells me blame, fault, revenge, shame. It's all inner critic, outer critic, and then there's the unhealthy self-soothing mechanism. So yeah, they all need good therapy, all of them. Uh, they don't have to get again. If they can just say it's people who are fucked up. So as I was saying, every person can move into becoming their angel and an angel. It's called healthy self-worth people. So this is straightforward. Forgiveness. Uh, some people are not ready. They don't want to because, you know, again, traumatized people, they have trouble regulating by themselves and uh, they also have trouble seeking others and taking in the support and regulation of others. Pat Ogden. What they tend to do is say that humans are fucked up and the world is fucked up versus no one's fucked up. You can get out of the feelings of being upset and heal yourself. Thank you, Jesus, for showing us the way, Christ consciousness, again, the 5D collective and 5D mystics know that every person is my brother and sister, all 8 billion people and growing. So the ones who don't want to move into, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Yeah. So knock, knock. Who are you? You're the one who won't text me back. Oh, I'll learn your pattern. There's only so many ways that a pattern is going to be and Well, they're all out there. I mean, just look at them, meaning on books, not outside. Okay, so that's where I told God already before knowing any of attachment trauma. Hey, God, I see suffering, not evil. I don't know what this evil thing, but I know what I'm supposed to do if it comes my way because you've told me, made it very clear. And that's not change yourself. No, actually that part you told me, be humble, made you exactly the way I want you to be made. Don't you go desiring to be anyone else. Okay, I won't, I won't, I promise. I'm imperfectly imperfect and flawed. And that's why you can express who you are sensually and with adaptability, and then you get to take flight. So being yourself is really fun for those of us who do not fear inadequacy. We sit in silence because our brain is not our enemy. No, we have the land of the truth, which is equanimity. So people who have integrated brains is because they choose, say, a left mode, don't be my piece of shit, crappy chit chat, and don't be a piece of shit to other people either. No, we're going to be a Jacob, be objective. Oh, look, I got feelings coming up. Let me alchemize the truth, neutrality and duality. What feelings are those? Is it anger? Is it surprise, happiness, disgust, or fear? Which is it? Okay, let me take a look. Do I have my first year of life in check? Two, three, four, five, six, all the way till 16. Do I have my child charge parts? Yes, I do. Okay, then I can be a pacha. It's called being a functional adult, so you don't use your nervous system and project. That's for the low self-esteem and direct communicators, passive aggressive, and they don't know boundaries. In fact, they cancel each other. They call each other names. They think that love is about push and pull and they give up parts of themselves, meaning like they do things that we're going to have a take three on this one. But yeah, they don't tell people how they feel about anything. If you want to know, knock, knock, who's there? Okay. First of all, do you know how to tell who you are to people from your feelings? your thoughts and do you know how to stand up? I'm a 5D mystic. I'm a polyamory person. I have clairs. I have never stood down and said, let me hide who I am. No, in fact, I actually make myself very visible to anyone and everyone. And the people that I love the most, I say, look, all of this here, so you know who I am. Oh, and if any of you need to cut me out because I will be considered something that some people might not be able to have in their life for work, family, I'm okay. Just tell me and I will remove myself so that I do not create any type of unnecessary that's not needed. So that's what it means to not have fear of inadequacy for being yourself. It's called, I love all my friends and lovers and all that equally. And if some need to say, I need you out of my life because my boss don't want me to hang out with you. Okay, whenever you can, let me know. So some of us were that person, those people, because we can understand that in changing times, 
Some of us get judged, you know, judging books by their cover based on ancient beliefs. 